Okay, here we are on the, uh, this is our Pettis Summertime Metal field. So we are now at, I'm not even sure what stage we're at now, number wise, but we just finished installation. Uh, drywall will start next. Uh-oh. Here we are, all foam insulation. And of course we had it done on the roof, not the ceiling inside, which I would highly recommend if you're doing foam, do all the walls and the ceiling. Uh, it's actually pretty amazing when I walk, even when I walk in from the garage into here, into the house that's been foamed, the temperature difference, of course, you know, we don't even have anything up and running yet, but the temperature difference is pretty significant considering, you know, the only thing that's been done is foamed. Uh, of course, all electric is done, HVAC, plumbing, all rough in is finished. Foaming just got finished, so drywall starts uh, this coming week. And, of course, I don't remember what I've covered on all the videos, but, you know, like here, of course, if you're doing a slab house, we ran two conduits for home runs from the panels just to cover this end of the house. That way I don't have to pull separate uh, Romex for every circuit all the way across the vault and everything. And then I also put two pipes across the vault. Uh, I used a three inch pipes from over top of the spare bedrooms. And then they stub out over here, kind of above the hallway. Uh, that's kind of for future or for whatever, you know, I forget, you know, later on or I need to add something. I've got a pathway, easy pathway through the vault. Uh, something else I've heard recommended, which I did was put in blocking for kitchen cabinets for the bottom kitchen cabinets and the uppers. Uh, same thing on this wall. Uh, I also did it uh, in the bathrooms, you know, for toilet paper holder. And then I put another one above it for, you know, handrail, you know, possibly in the future. I think I did all, all the toilet areas for both, uh, toilet paper and handrail. Uh, and of course we left this, what are 40, 42 inch opening here, which we will have barn doors, but we like it for accessibility too. You know, even, you know, considering, you know, later, you know, it's still like wheelchair accessible. Uh, this toilet room, I've got it basically where to do a 30, I think a 30 inch door. But at the same time, with this small sub wall, I can take that out if I ever need to make that wheelchair accessible. 
Of course, you'll have the big four by six shower here. Of course, all this is foamed. We are foamed all walls that back up to the garage. And all walls that are on the garage are considered firewall. Uh, of course, we had to drywall the garage in order for them to go ahead and foam it. So, and the garage ceiling, which they foamed the garage ceiling also. And of course, I did surface mount panels. You know, you may just uh, put yours in the wall. I like the surface mount, they're easier to get stuff out of in the future. And we just did regular installation on the outside garage wall because the garage is not gonna be temperature controlled. Uh, so yeah, that's a brief look. And of course, you know, we are foamed all the way to the ceiling above. Kind of the bonus room area. That's the current stage we're at. Uh, I'll do another video once we get drywall up. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel, free to, feel free to comment. Thank you.